Now it is time for a view extensive of the knife. Hello and welcome back to another video review. We have two different knives head to head USA versus China. So the USA contender here is the Spyroco Little Native versus the Chinese the Baby Bento. What a name. I hate this name. This is from the Civic Company. So a Civic Company is the answer to Spyderco. Pretty much they are the Chinese made company that makes knives that are equivalent in some ways or a ripoff in other ways of Spyderco. And what they actually did, they took the little native here and the baby Bento created their own version of a miniature knife because people really want to get those mini knives. They really like the small and handy size. One thing I hated about this knife is the clip, so I got rid of it. This one has the cool looking spider core clip on it. See it right here. And I kept it on it. So the question is, which is the better knife? If you're new to this channel, that's what we do here. We go ahead and do head to head and do all kinds of video reviews. Check out which is the better thing for you to get and which one you shouldn't be wasting your money on. So this is a $50 knife. The Civic. This is the Spyderco, $150. You are getting 100 bucks extra in this knife and should you be getting this one? Saving your money getting the USA made version versus the Chinese? Let's find out in this video review and testing. And eventually I'm going to be giving you thumbs down or thumbs up which one you should be getting and which one is the better knife for you to get. Let's go ahead and start with the show. So the fidgeting factor in both of them, if you're a knife person you understand this, the whole fun of owning the knife is closing it. Get a few seconds of glory every single day. You use those things and it's one of the funnest things of owning some of those cool knives. And you hear the sound. The sound is one thing. This one has the better sound and the flick to it. How fast it goes. How fast you can deploy this. And in DC, in DC situation, a lot of times you might need to deploy one of those things as fast as you can. So they both actually deploy pretty fast. I like that. The biggest problem is the frigid and the fun factor is still here, but it's not as good as the spiral, which is understandable. One thing I did do is I removed from here what it had here, the clip. I just had enough of it. It was just didn't look like it belonged to it and it was just annoying. Now what else we got here? The kind of a steel the blade is made. This got the S 30V top of the line steel. This got who the hell knows? It doesn't say what it is. This is the big difference between a cheap knife and an expensive one. You really are saving pretty much good money. And you know what? If somebody steals this thing, I really don't care. Versus this one, yeah, it's going to set me back 150 while somebody grabs this one. It only sets you 50 bucks. The way it feels in your hand, you can feel that it's really balanced. This one, the tip, a little bit feels more heavy than the rest of the body. The money 
the value, the lock, and the blade safety. Let's check out the lock and the blade safety. This has top of the line lock right here. Extremely strong old metal. This one has one of, one of those cheap ass ones that is right on the bottom, which actually is in the cheaper knives, that's what they are at. I suspect this will eventually break, but you know what? I actually beat one of those to death, and not this knife, but another one. I still was working after a while, it just became a safety hazard, and I had to trash it because of this blade right here. The, this thing that closes like that, I don't trust it. I trust the ones that Spyderco makes on the top, they're so much better. When it comes to the deployment, put a lot of force on here like this, and you can cut things up. And this one is not too bad either. It's not going to snap and close on you, but I do like the ones that close on the top. It gives you an extra layer of safety for this not to accidentally just break apart if you're really cutting something really hard and it's not even made for that either it's not really the knife for it now it is time for the cutting test nothing shines better than getting an actual apple to be cut hallmarks of a good knife is not being able or need to use a lot of pressure to cut this. As you can see that was already a fail. Put pretty much a bunch of pressure to cut this. It's also not the right size for cutting something like this. But it did get its job done. Spider Co. on the other hand. The hallmarks of a good knife is be able to get the job done without applying pressure. Now, the difference this is surrogate edge versus straight edge. I prefer surrogate in most cases. But when it comes to cutting something like an apple, the regular knife is actually better than this. Yeah, it does cut. Maybe the better test is to cut this side. Let's check it out. Wow. Did you just see that? Now was just amazing. Let's see if this can do it as well. Yes, it can. But there is a slight difference between both of them, apart from getting it messy. It took me substantial pressure to cut this up and it hit the board as well. Next test, super dry twig. Cutting it takes a lot of pressure. <laughs> Cut all over me. This impossible to remove this piece of twig right here does it work yeah let's see the difference oh good you don't even need to use any force it just slices and dices right there leaves a mark by pressing on it. Not 
bed. Put your soap. To kids, don't try this one at home. Pretty good. No, I don't want to break that one. But you get the point. It's pretty decent, huh? I think both of them perform pretty well. For a fifty dollar junk. It's not bad. The pluses and minuses with that, I would say that this definitely is the superior knife. Much more cool, much more awesome, much more beautiful. The only thing that this doesn't have going for it is the price. So because of the price, this is not affordable for everybody. And this is super cheap. If you can get this for 50 or 60 bucks on Amazon, it's a good deal. They're both cool, they're both small. You really need to pay the extra money for this. But in my opinion, made in USA, American made, and American quality, versus the 100% Chinese made. I am not sold on this one as being good. I'm sold on it as being cheap good. If you're looking for a cheap, good, quality Chinese made knife that's small and miniature, this will do it. If you're looking for something that's really good quality, last you like a really good time, get a good warranty and everything, spider cool quality, awesome looking, this is it. Hands down, if you can show out the extra cash, go for the spider go little native don't go for the big one this is even better than the, the bigger one it's a little bit cheaper but it's awesome once you try one of those you can never go back it is that good once you try this i mean if you never had a good knife for 50 bucks pocket knife you would try this when you put this is amazing but you know what when you get spoiled by spider go you try this and you're like forget that <laughs> forget it spider go is the best it's amazing so make a decision it's gonna be links below check out and figure out which one you want to get for yourself In my opinion this is 10 out of 10 star it's good this is only a 7 out of 10 it's, it's just great but not amazing. The unboxing the Civic Baby Bento. Now, the most interesting thing is the box itself. So this is the black G10 handle, it sports that black stone washed nitro V-blade and nested line lock. It's made in China. The most interesting part is the warning on the back of it. So lifetime warranty until it is confiscated by the TSA or Bull Park Security. This is really funny. People find creative ways to damage their knives, so this warranty does have limitations. And the caution, sharpen cutting edge, inappropriate usage, results in injury, keep blades away from fingers and body, and so on. The box itself, not really that great. Now, What is inside? You got this. Love your knife. This is new. Oh, it even looks like a knife. You got the warranty card. Oh, yes. 
I like this. I like this company already. This is cool. And finally, I got the baby knife. The baby Brento. See it over here, my hand. Also sports one hand opening. Now how does this compare to the more expensive spider core which cost almost 150 bucks which is the spider core little native you can see that they are about the same size but we have a few issues with them not really issues but pretty much this is straight edge this is surrogate edge this got a more better handle to it very natural in your hand when you put this on really good grip here this one is a little bit more miniature for the price you're getting a pretty good deal here it's really very nice deal overall and now let's check out the specs here so this one is about three and a half inches here this one is three inches the knife itself this is about two inches this is about two inches as well almost the same cutting edge over here altogether this is about six inches this one is about five and a half inches they're really alike in so many ways the weight this is a little bit more substantial on the other hand the biggest difference is made in china versus united states made not all spiracles are american made the native one is made in usa this is made in china this way you're paying three times more for this one versus that one those do have a place where you can put something in now for the price it's a totally worth the extra money look how easily this flips up and open and I like the sound that it makes close open Close, open again. If you're a knife post, you understand the fun of this, how easy it is to open. Close, open. Frigid factor in this. Not bad. That is satisfying, but definitely cheaper. Really small too. This is cool. For the price, I think this is a pretty decent deal. I'm a little bit scared when I open this. I mean not scared but I feel like you can accidentally cut yourself more likely with this one. But it's just it just feels that way. It's not gonna do it. This one is easily opened. There's no slips or accidental cutting you might have of opening and closing. This one is still the better knife. It definitely is the better knife overall. Cutting test. This is sharp. Surprise. Pretty good. Really sharp. And a sharp putting the steel on this, putting pressure on it, but on the side, cutting, yep, pretty decent. And it doesn't actually leave anything in here, residue or anything. So overall, it's a decent little, little thing here. Now a few other things here that the grip, grip is good. Very similar material. Play this 
bit do. <laughs> that's not how you test the blade, but that's what it is. Overall, I think I like it. It's it's pretty decent for fifty dollar cheap knife made in China. It's not the best, but if you don't want to spend, I'm hoping a hundred fifty on the spider grenade, which is much better knife. This is just a cheap alternative. I highly recommend for you to get. Thank you so much for getting all the way to the end of the video. And now it's the big hundred dollar question. Which is the better knife? Which one gets the thumbs up and the thumbs down? So by a small margin, thumbs up is the Spyderco knife. It is still the better knife here. It is the more fun factor. It is the cool factor. It makes the best sounds, easy to open, and really nice knife all around. The only thing is the downside is really the price. It still gets a thumbs up, 10 stars. On the other hand, the Civic Bento, it is cheap, it is small, saves you money, made in China. Overall, it gets a thumbs down, not because it's bad, but because it's not as good as the spider core. For 50 bucks, you can't really go wrong here. It's fun, it's small, it still snaps, and it still gives you the satisfaction, but not as much as you get with the other knife. So, post down below, let me know which one you're getting and why, and specifically, which is the better knife? Which one you think and you'll be getting for yourself? Votes or comments below. Thank you. Have a great day. And let me do me a favor. You enjoyed the show. Smash the thumbs up and post a comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share this video. Please, if you did enjoy this channel, smash the thumbs up button. Subscribe, like, and see you in the next video of the Geek Tech Show. You never know, next video review we're gonna show on this channel. Thank you.